5 seconds to go start another bill is coming from rajya sabha which has been passed yesterday for discussion madam chairperson this is nothing but abuse of the legislative process how much time and money of the ministry and the house is being wasted why do we not incorporate all these in a comprehensive bill so as to have a single bill why are we having three bills it is because all these communities come under the scheduled caste order and the scheduled tribes order as per the constitutional mandate we can have a comprehensive bill by which all these communities or castes or tribes can be incorporated in the st or sc order in respective manner we are going to discuss another bill next week the bill which was passed by rajya sabha is again coming here we are going to have the same discussion why do we not have a comprehensive mode of legislation this is a bad legislative practice being pursued by the government several times in the past i have raised this issue i would request the parliamentary affairs minister to kindly look into this issue regarding article 341 and article 342 i fully support the observations made by shri jagdambika pal that it is not regarding the state of uttar pradesh as a whole it is only applicable to certain parts of uttar pradesh if you read the language of article 341 and article 342 it clearly implies that the scheduled castes and the scheduled tribes have to be specified in relation to a state or a union territory that means the scheduled castes and the scheduled tribes have to be for the whole of the state or for the whole of the union territory how are in various sc orders and st orders many scs and sts district specific so i request the government to get this issue legally examined otherwise we will be doing a legal wrong i fully support the argument made by jagdambika pal ji regarding article 341 on scheduled castes and article 342 on scheduled tribes that this has to be legally examined because article 341 says the president may with respect to any state or union territory and where it is a state after consultation with the governor thereof by public notification specify the castes races or tribes or parts of or groups within the castes races or tribes which shall for the purpose of this constitution be deemed to be scheduled castes in relation to the state or union territory as the case may be it is not in relation to a district a taluk or a village so a legal examination is required my second objection is regarding the legal drafting madam we have passed a legislation on 28th march and another bill is coming for further discussion in this bill two schedules are incorporated why are these two schedules incorporated these amendments can be very well incorporated in the body i would like to suggest the legislative process be in a healthy democracy this type of piecemeal legislation is not good for a healthy parliamentary democratic system that has to be looked into with these words i support this bill once again for incorporating this in the scheduled tribes order honorable chairperson madam 
வணக்கம் தேங்க்யூ ஃபார் திஸ் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி டு ஸ்பீக் ஓன் திஸ் இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் பில் ஷெட்யூல்டு காஸ்ட் அண்ட் ஷெட்யூல்டு ட்ரைப்ஸ் ஆர் தி சன்ஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் சோயல் ஹூ ஹேவ் நோ ரிலீஜன் ஓர் காஸ்ட் பட் டு ஷோ தெம் ஆஸ் எ ஹிந்து மெஜாரிட்டி வி ஆர் ப்ரொவைடிங் தெம் த சர்டிஃபிகேட்ஸ் ஆஸ் ஹிந்து வி ஹேவ் இன்க்ளூடிட் தெம் ஆஸ் அ பார்ட் of the list of hindu communities this itself is a betrayal to this community this government which has included them in the hindu list to make them as hindu majority has done nothing to improve their educational and economic conditions or to provide employment this government had shown no concern towards protecting them from the atrocities targeted against them this is what we have come to know from the history of the last 75 years of independent india therefore they should be declared as non hindus in the first instance i urge the government that the scs and sts should be declared as non hindus as per the wishes of dr b r ambedkar and pandit ayotidha sar otherwise you should bring an amendment to the constitution so as to declare them an ancient buddhist almost 25% of the population belong to these communities in india they all should be declared as ancient buddhist people belonging to st community face difficulties in getting certificates several tribal communities of tamil nadu are facing lots of problems to get a caste certificate to avail the benefits of education and employment honorable supreme court has given some guidelines as regards issuance of community certificates since the guidelines are not followed the people belonging to these communities face difficulties in getting caste certificates due to this they are deprived of education and employment opportunities they are unable to get the ownership right or the patta for their land these people have been living along the water bodies or water front for generations together but they are deprived of getting a land patta or denied the ownership right of the land in which they live the reason stated for denial is that they live near the water bodies or the catchment areas i urge that these issues should be addressed in favor of the sons of this soil thank you stop